Welcome our dear students of second prep uh, and uh, welcome in a new academic year 2018-2019. Uh, our syllabus in second uh, prep, uh, we are going to have an overlook uh, of it first. Uh, the, the syllabus of second prep uh, consists of three units. The first unit is uh, totally chemistry. Uh, the second unit uh, about uh, atmospheric layer and uh, global warming, ozone layer. The third unit is about extension and fossils. Okay, but before starting our first unit and our first lesson, which is called uh, Attempt of Classification of Elements, we are going to revise uh, what we have taken in first prep because it's uh, very important to understand the first lesson. We revise the last uh, chemistry lesson in our first prep. Okay, let's start together. First, we are going to uh, see the structure of the atom as we have taken it in the first step. Okay, what's the atom? The definition of the atom. It is the smallest building unit of element which share in a chemical reaction without being changed. Type. What about the uh, atom uh, consists of? It consists mainly of two parts. The first part we call it, this is the atom as we see here. The center consists of nucleus, as we see here, and around it there is electron part type. As we see in uh, this slide, uh, electron has a negative charge, uh, which rotates around the nucleus in a very fast speed in an orbit called energy level. As we have learned that uh, the energy level we have uh, named KLMNOPQ according to their energy level. Then the proton, which has a positively charged, and neutron, which has no charged ion. So the atom consists of nucleus and electron. And inside the nucleus, there is electron. Uh, there is, uh, inside the nucleus, there is a positive proton and uh, no charged neutrons, okay? So what's the structure of the atom? First, the nucleus, which contain as we said, positively charged protons, neutral particle called neutron, and this is inside the nucleus, and where we said it is the mass of the atom, because it is uh, uh, the total mass inside it, uh, proton and neutrons, and both of them is called mass number. The second part in the atom is called electrons. The electrons are negatively charged particle, which revolves around the nucleus in energy level with high speed. Okay, so let's sum up the atom together. The atom, the smallest building unit of the substance, consists of nucleus and electrons. The nucleus consists of positive charge. It has a positive charge particle called protons and neutral. What's meant by neutral? It has no charge. It's not positive and it's not negative charge, called neutrons. The second part, electrons. What's the electrons? This, as we've seen, it's the negative charge which uh, revolve around the nucleus with a very high speed. Tap. The electrons revolve in energy level. This is the energy level around the nucleus. The highest atom consists of how many? Seven energy level. Their name is K, L, M, N, O, P, Q. Okay, this is R, the seven energy level around the atom. Okay, so this is what we have taken the last year, the first prep, uh, and it, it's very important to uh, revise this uh, structure to this lesson. What's the atomic number? The atomic number is the number of proton inside the nucleus. Okay, what's the mass number? It is the number of protons and neutrons inside the, uh, the protons and the neutrons inside the curious type. What's the atomic number? It is the number of protons only. Okay, type. This is an example, sodium 23. The Rackham uh, number which is written uh, to uh, above the simple, this one, 23, this is represent what? The mass number. Okay, so the mass number is the largest number which is written above the simple. 11, 
this is the simple of sodium as we said 11 this is the atomic number so the atomic number is the number of hmm, as we said the number of protons okay this is about the structure of the atom uh, we are begin our lesson now this is the uh, beginning of our lesson why scientists try to classify element okay why we classify element okay why uh, you at home you put uh, uh, the uh, winter clothes in uh, a place and the summer clothes in a place so when you want to pick some of your clothes you are easily uh, pick up what you need so you put your clothes at home according to your need this is heavy clothes for winter this is light clothes for summer so when you are going out you are pick easily what you have to eat your desk you classify your desk this is the books this is the pencils and this is the pen you put each of them in a part in your desk why so when you need something you can easily pick it up without searching for a long time this is why the scientists try to classify the element the element was known um, uh, uh, from uh, to more than 200 years was 67 element only. So they try to classify putting them into groups with similar property. Why? Okay, let's see the answer. Why we classify element? Number one, to be easily studied. So when I know this element in this group, I can know its property. If I will classify element, we put them together. Uh, to be uh, to be easily study and number two to know the relation between elements and chemical and physical property this is an important question again why scientists classify the elements to be easy to study the elements and to know the relationship between a chemical and physical property okay uh, we have three attempts for this classification uh, there were many attempts, but we were going to start only three of them. The trial or the attempts to classify the element. Number one, Mendeleev's periodic table, and we are going to take it right now. Number two, mostly periodic table, and number three, modern periodic table. Yep. Why the first, uh, the scientists classify element for two reasons. The reason number one, we classified to be easily study or facilitate their studying number two to find the relation between their chemical and physical property then how many attempts are, uh, we are going or trial we are going to study three attempts number one Mendeleev's and the second periodic table is to a Mosley's uh, periodic table it's a scientist also and number three is the modern periodic table okay let's start with Mendeleev's periodic table. Tap. Who's Mendeleev first? Mendeleev was a Russian scientist. Okay, let's see his picture. If, uh, Mendeleev was a Russian scientist. Okay. Uh, he arranged the 67 elements in table in order of if, uh, the elements which will known uh, the, uh, at uh, the uh, uh, the Mendeleev was 67 element only. Now, in 2018, they reach 118 element. Okay, uh, this is only 67 element were known uh, when uh, the Russian chemist make his periodic table. He make for each element a card. On this card, he wrote the property of each element. Uh, he have 67 element each element have a card he wrote inside the car all the chemical and physical property known uh, at this time uh, like oxygen chemical property boiling point chemistry physical and chemical property data in a card then the uh, nitrogen all the 67 why 67 this is was the element was discovered in his age okay then he arranged these elements according to what according to their atomic weight according to their atomic weight so he arranged the card number one atomic weight number one number two number three number nine then he repeated again okay until he have what he have an arrangement of the card 
which carry the name of the element. The row from left to right, he call it period. The column, which uh, from up to down, he call it group. So he find that this is a period from left to right, then the second one from left to right. The property of the element is repeated regularly. The property is repeated regularly at the beginning of each period. Okay, let's see together. Complete. Similar element is arranged vertically column from up to down. From up to down. This is, we call it group. So the group here is uh, the element which are read in vertical. Okay, I mean upside, mean up to down. Next, similar elements is arranged in horizontal from left to right. And this is, we call it, yes, period. Okay, yep, uh, the group is the element which arrayed from, uh, arranged from up to down and the period which it is the element which arranged from, yes, from left to right. He found by this arrangement, the 67 cards of this element, that the uh, property are repeated regularly, repeated regularly. At the beginning of each period, the property repeated again. At the beginning of each period, it is repeated regularly again. Okay, complete number three. The property of the element what? Repeated periodically at the beginning of each what? Of each period. Okay, so Mendeleev's periodic table arranged according to atomic weight. Atomic weight, we can say atomic mass or we can say mass number. All of the three expressions are correct. Atomic weight, atomic mass or mass number. Again, group. It is the arrangement of element from up to down. Period, arranging uh, the element from left to right and the elements repeated periodically at the beginning of each new period. Uh, was this uh, table that Mandalev discovered or made correct, it have some advantage and some disadvantage. Okay, what's meant by advantage and disadvantage? Advantage, Yani Mandalev made something right in his table. And what is the disadvantage? There was something wrong in this table. According to the data he have at this time. Type. What's the advantage? We said that he arranged the elements according to what? To according to atomic weight or atomic mass or mass number. All of the three expressions are the same here. Type. When he arranged this uh, atomic weight, he found that some of this atomic weight was calculated wrongly. Okay, he, uh, as we said, we have a card for each element. He make his experiment and uh, wrote the chemical and physical property of each. While he is doing this, he found that the sum of these elements, their atomic weight was calculated before wrong, so he corrected this number again. If, uh, from the advantage of this table that Mandalif have made, he corrected the wrong atomic weight that have been uh, made or uh, calculated or estimated by the scientists before him. This is the first advantage he have made. Now, what's about the uh, uh, second advantage? Let's see. You have a, uh, number one, he left gaps in his table or spaces. Why? For the discovery of new elements. What's meant by this? Uh, when Mandalev arranged his table, okay, he have to put a card number one, number two, number three. He found that, for example, number 16 is missing, number 17 is missing. So he skipped this arrangement, left this place empty and jumped to the next. Now, why he left this space empty? There is no card. So the scientist which comes after him will discover this new element which has this atomic weight that he is not have in this time. If a why he left the spaces okay, or gaps in his table, the arrangement or missing part, this missing part for the scientist's 
for to predict or to discover the new elements following him. And this is an important give reason why Mandalif left gaps or spaces in his table for the discovery of new elements, or we can say for the uh, following uh, scientists to discover the new element. The second advantage he corrected, as we said, the wrong atomic weight of some element, and this is war estimated wrong bar the scientist. About the advantage of Mendeleev's table, he left gaps. Why? For the discovery of new element. Number two, he corrected the atomic weight of some elements. Okay. Number three, he divided groups into subgroup A and B. Okay. Now, let's have a summary about what we have taken till now. We revised the atomic structure. Again, what's the atom? It is the smallest part which is shared in a chemical reaction as we have taken in the last, the previous year, first prep. The atom consists of what? Consists of two main parts. The nucleus in the middle and the electrons outside rotating. Type. What's inside the, pro, uh, the nucleus? Two parts. The first part we call it proton and it has a positive charge. So proton has a positive charge. And neutrons and it is neutral charge, has no charge. Then What's about the electrons? The electrons have negative charge and they rotate with a very high speed around the nucleus. But they're rotating in what? They are rotating in what we called energy level. The energy level, we call it K, L, M, N, O, P, Q. They are seven energy level. But we have two scientific terms, mass number and atomic number. Type. What's the mass number? The mass number. It is the sum of proton and neutron inside the nucleus. And it is written above the simple. Type. What's the atomic number? It is the number of the proton only. And the number of proton equals the number of electrons. As we, have, as we have said that the atom is neutral. What's meant by neutral? The positive charge equal the negative charge, so the proton equal to the electrons, and uh, this is what we call it atomic number. Okay, let's draw, uh, have a mass number and an, uh, for an element. Example, we have chlorine. The simple of the chlorine is 35, 17. Mass number equal, or uh, this number is called the mass number, which is equal 35. Number of what? Proton and neutrons. Atomic number equal 17. What's the uh, 17? It is the number of protons okay which is equal to the number of electrons okay so we must know how to calculate the best number and the atomic number for this lesson and this is we have taken it in the first prep but again we have a russian scientist called Mendeleev. Mendeleev have a 67 element. This element was arranged according to what? To their atomic weight. Uh, the, uh, uh, ascendingly, according to their atomic weight. Uh, the arrangement have an advantage, which is he corrected the wrong atomic weight. And number two, uh, he left gaps and divided into uh, group A and subgroup A and subgroup B. Okay, this is about the advantage. What about the disadvantage? Disadvantage of Mendeleev's table. He considered the isotopes as different element. Type. First, what's meant by isotopes? And to, uh, to understand it, we have hydrogen. Hydrogen has, uh, all of these examples are hydrogen. Number one has an atomic number one and mass number one. The other have mass number two and atomic number 
one. The third one has a mass number three and atomic number one. So all of these three are called hydron, having the same atomic number but different mass number. This is, we call it, isotopes of hydrogen. This we call it isotopes of hydrogen. So what's meant by isotopes? It is the element which have more than one atomic uh, mass number, ha has more than uh, mass number type. What Mandalif considered, each one of them is an element. This is an element, and this is an element, and this is an element. And this is was a wrong estimated from Mandalif because all of the three are only one element. So, because he considered of them as a different element, he put more than one of them in the same place. He put more than one in the same place. Okay? What's, uh, what are the disadvantages of Mendeleev? The isotopes cause considered as one element or more than one element, more than one element. And this, the mistake, makes him put more than one element in the same place. The second one, he made a disturbance in atomic weight. As we said, he make the arrangement ascendingly, he make atomic weight number one, two, three, and so on. He make disturb uh, in this arrangement because he found that this element is similar, so I'll put them beside each other without in consideration the atomic weight. So what are the disadvantage of the atomic weight? Uh, the disadvantage of Mendeleev's table, he made disturbance in atomic weight to suit the property. Okay, so we are going to ask a question. Uh, we are going to ask a question, compare between advantage and disadvantage of Mendeleev, and this is a question to ask, inshallah, next uh, episode. Uh, uh, remember, we are going to ask about the advantage and the disadvantage of Mendeleev. The disadvantage that he considered the isotope as a uh, different element, so he put more than one element in one space. And the second one, he make disturbance to suit the uh, property of them. But what about the advantage? The advantage he corrected the wrong estimated uh, atomic weight. And uh, number two, he make the subgroup uh, A and B, and he left gap. And as we have uh, explained why he left gap, or we've reason why Mandalif left gaps between his uh, table uh, for the new element to be discovered. Okay, if, uh, in this episode, we have taken a revised atomic structure. Okay, we revise what's meant by mass number and atomic number, and uh, uh, how Mandalif arranged his uh, periodic table and the advantage and the disadvantage of Mandalif. Okay, um, I'm very glad to be with you this uh, episode. Uh, looking forward for your questions uh, and messages on uh, the Facebook uh, and uh, our site on the YouTube. Uh, until we meet again uh, next uh, Thursday, inshallah. Hope to you see you soon next Thursday. Thank you and goodbye.